Hey, welcome back to Outlaw Window Cleaner Radio Show. I'm Tim Huber. This is my co-host, Ron Hughes. Hello. And we're back for part two with Craig and Grace. I'm not going to try the last name. <laughs> Craig, I mean, Craig, of course, is this guy here. <laughs> I, I, I'm kind of bummed you didn't bring the bunny suit today. So we can't do anything good, but I lost the Bob Bouquet wig anyway, so it really wouldn't matter. So. That's all right. <laughs> we'll get it planned. We'll get the everything planned and do it right. So we're all having fun, and they, they can have their costumes as well. Oh, what are you going to wear? The, not, you're not doing the G-string. Again, I was going to say, what's the line's done gone? I mean, G-string, <laughs> strap on. You know. So I completely missed out on the last episode of, um, hey, if you got some tools and equipment that you want to order, contact Craig or Grace. And they will put them in and take care of you and be your rep. We could do that. Yeah. So what, what we missed on the last episode, I'm going to ask you to go ahead and just give it to me. I want details. So what's a day in the life of Craig and Grace? Like getting up in the morning, what's your rituals? I don't want to know the bathrooms. <laughs> yeah. And about what time do you show up for the first job? When's lunch? When do you end? All that good stuff. Get, just give mm. us a detailed look at your life. Grace, why don't you start that one? Okay, so if it's not a Joe's Deli morning, <laughs> then we uh, I get to the house around 8 o'clock. Joe's Deli, I take it that's about an early ho- or early hour? Yeah. Um, it's a restaurant we do every single week, in and out. They open at 7 a.m., so we get um, there around 6 a.m., so we can be out of the inside before they open. Um, but that's only one day a week. So. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. They have the best food yeah, in they town. Yeah, really good so- breakfast. You get the work done, and you order breakfast. We go right next to the location is the road that takes you down into the valley, the Metro Park system. Yeah. So we get to drive down. We go find a spot by the river, just park. Doesn't matter what time of year it is. It's beautiful. The river's moving, nature. We're kind of out before most people are out because during the week, if they're not already out, they're going to work. They're on the freeway. Yeah. They're sitting in traffic. We're having breakfast by the river flowing out the it's the rocky river where it flows out to the mouth of lake erie and rocky river oh, so cool. it's real beautiful yeah, yeah. well That's, what's funny is you talk about being out of place by seven o'clock in the morning and you remember some of the rouse stuff i used to do oh, dude. and i mean you'd have to hit places at three thirty, four o'clock in the morning and people would struggle and like by the time we got to the mall people the managers was running to their store at 10 o'clock and i'm like how are you not awake by 10 o'clock to open your store? Yeah. You know, you have more stuff done from 3 o'clock in the morning until most people even get up. Yeah, right? before yeah. breakfast. I've, I've done an entire work day before breakfast. Oh, yeah. And yeah, I, I consider each day is two, maybe three work days for me, the amount of energy I put into everything that I do. But yeah, Grace, I think... You, you got stuck on Jason's Deli or what, whatever. Yeah, Joe's, Joe's Deli. Deli. What time Joe's do you Deli. usually? What time do you get to work each day? Uh, about eight o'clock. And when you roll in, what am I doing and what am I wearing at that point You're in time? Still, usually still, still in your bunny p- suit. <laughs> <laughs> he's usually still in his pajamas and he's sitting at the computer. Uh, yeah, still in my pajamas. Sometimes he'll have eaten breakfast. Sometimes he will have not. It just depends, you know. So she's got to wait around on you in the morning. Well, no, I take that time and I like check phones, check emails, get back to people. Um, I check our um, sales phone number, check that voicemail, check the, the sales email, check everything, and She's make sure we're all squared away in the office before we get ready to head out. So what time do you guys show up to your first house? Then? I don't know. While she's doing all that, that's what I'm actually doing. I'm working on our scheduling and kind of manipulating, checking the weather, and we kind of, there's little bits and pieces we feed off of each other. Hey, check this account, you know, make sure that was paid, sales tax. You know, we kind of go over right. our checklist. Each of us has our morning routine in the office. We streamline that and we bring our window cleaning office and our window cleaning sales, equipment sales office with us. So we do that in the field as well. Uh, she is that technology. So I'm the driver, kind of, she's the, the, you know, in between jobs, hey, you know, check this, check that. We're constantly making use of every minute of the day so right. you know there's no downtime for us and we streamline it that way then at the end of the day she wraps up she does all the invoices in the field but i don't know we could 9 10 11 who yeah. knows what time we start generally speaking between 9 and 10 i get take. so mad if i got to start at 11 well see jim and tim here jim 
Tim here has a wife that does a lot of his scheduling. I don't do any scheduling. So I'm like, how do you do that? Because me, I do it on the fly. So a lot of times I'm steering with my knees. I got my schedule book on the steering wheel. And I'm like trying to figure out how to schedule people. And I'm like, whoa, state trooper. You know, so I, yeah. I, I, I wake up and my list is ready for me and I leave. Yeah, we're... Yeah. I used to do it on my own, and when she first started, I'd have that all done, and we'd just she'd come over and we'd leave. But when she really wanted to commit to it, uh, you know what? You're going to have to learn what I do. Every last detail, I'll show you in phases and steps along the way. You get this part down, you move to the next. You do both, then you do this, this, this. Add it on until you are the owner. And I don't know, we get leaving do we really, Monday, Tuesday, she's got ballet. She teaches ballet as well. So Monday, Tuesday, and Saturday mornings. And we have to be back by about three, but usually it could be two. So I don't know, some days we'll go out. <laughs> That's a full work day. A couple hours. <laughs> I'd say when couple. you first started out, he had everything all laid out for you, schedule-wise and everything. So you're just rolling in, everything's all ready to go, and you had to do nothing. That's yeah. kind of where my youngest son is right now. And then if there is a glitch in the system, he's like, Dad, why haven't you figured that out? Well, now that, you know, that's what I'm trying to teach my son. I'm trying to teach him the back end of it, mm -hmm. you know, and this is what you have to communicate with your customers. And, mm -hmm. you know, how long was it from day one when you first started until you started learning the back end? Was it about a year or so or? Pretty quick. Um, yeah, no, it was pretty quick. I started like responding to client emails pretty much right away. Mm -hmm. Um and like answering phones and all that stuff. But so for the first two years, I was part-time and I had two other jobs and was going to school full-time. Um, so like definitely once I, well, once COVID happened, it was like, I was, I everything was online for school. So I pretty much was kind of full-time with what we could get. And then I would say 2021 was probably our first full year of me being like, really submerged and that's yeah. where she took over quickbooks throughout all of this and uh sales tax stuff like that you know till i had her take over so all that how often do you actually send that in uh, uh it's monthly. once a month once yeah. a month yeah ours yeah. is monthly and yeah right oh, now I, I think i do it every six months Pro it just depends on how your business is listed um, and no i do it every six months wow yeah. Some yeah. people do it quarterly. Some people do yeah, it. Yeah, it's different yeah. for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I mean, it'd be nice if the savings accounts actually put some money into it. You know, they just don't give you anything anymore. It's, you know what? It's sales. We're collecting it for yeah. them. It's we're not getting paid to collect to do their job to collect it. We're just doling it back out to them. We. I'm yeah. not a big fan. No, I'm not a. You yeah. know, that went into effect what ninety seven. Yeah, I actually lost some customers because yeah, of that. Because a, some of my customers, deal. they're like, you need to absorb that into your cost. Right. And I'm like, no, you need to pay that. Yeah, yeah like, no, I, I don't absorb anything, anything from the government right. into my cost of doing business. That's not, that's their business, not mine. They don't, I don't get anything from the government. Right. Everything that they give me, it's mine anyways. I'd say back in the day that we just had customers that they couldn't even afford. Well, it was just, around. it was a shock to the system when they included janitorial services and all that into, and yeah. we, we so won our tax money. Well, we know, we go back to a time when we were not even under that radar. Right. And th that was an initial shock for our clients when my dad had to say, uh, all of a sudden I have to charge you sales tax. Right. I'm not, what? Does Florida even have that? No, I don't Florida, think Florida does I don't does think it charges sales tax at they, all. We had, um, we'd gotten, was it me and you in the picture in the Newark Advocate? That was me. When they caught you? Yeah. I, uh, front, front page of the local paper here. Yeah. Oh, and boy. Then I, and then they, they called him, like, we well, want some sales tax. You're working in our city. <laughs> well, like, no, that's, you're talking about city tax. Yeah. You know, I was paying city tax where my office and where I lived at. Yeah. I yeah. didn't realize that you had to pay it in every town that you worked in. Every, yeah. That's you have that's in QuickBooks. That's something she learned is, hey, we're working over here. You just go into QuickBooks, change this over here, and it realigns the taxation. And it does it all for you. It's yeah, well, brutal. my argument with those guys is I'm like, what if I'm a truck driver? I mean, how many villages or towns or states are you in as a truck driver? I mean, do you break every, like, mileage paid down per every... You're on a 2,000-mile trip as a truck driver. I'm like, is, is that how it works for them? Well, think about it. You cannot actually... They will not. They actually 
build gates and put gates up and chain it up. You can't actually come into this world unless you've paid taxes. Your parents have to. All right. Yeah. You want to have that kid pay the taxes first. When we die... Death tax. We cannot I, die without paying taxes. Then I feel in the next five to ten years, there's going to be a revolution on that. And it's not going to be us, because we're, we're kind of set in stone. We're just used to paying taxes. I think it's going to be the younger generation. Well, you know, I, they're all tax the rich, tax this, that, but they don't want, you know, when they realize how much money is coming out and you got to be a hundred grand to be middle class now. Yeah. And, and yeah you, they're well, not going to be happy about that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, you know? I'm taking care of that in our family. Other people can take the lead from me. Take the lead from me. Um, I've told the girls I'm going to be taxidermied. <laughs> now we'll pay out of pocket. It can't cost that much. And each year I'll be at Grace's house one year. The next year, I'm at Tegan's house. I want to be dressed up. I want my window cleaning shirts on. I like my window cleaning shirts. Put a new shirt on. Go be mummified. Change the look. And, you know, <laughs> stick, a, stick a squeegee in one hand, a sponge in the other hand. Maybe put the bunny suit on. But around Christmas time, you could put the Santa suit on. All that stuff. Just have some fun with me. Like a Barbie doll. Right. You know, but I'll be taxidermied. And if they want anything from me, that's in the will. You see that funeral where Just the guy by the look him? on Grace's face, I think she thinks that's more of an... <laughs> She's like, uh, I've got all the passwords to everything in your life. I know how to take everything from you, so... It won't it matter what matter. he said. You don't have to really do that. <laughs> <laughs> she literally... Just I'm not, love trying he's to going find through. somebody to do it. That's the thing. Oh yeah. my, who would do that? I can find somebody. Oh, I'm sure. The I'm right sure. amount of money with, with her inheritance, I can get anything done. <laughs> So, you know what, it's... It, hmm? it, did, did you know about this? I don't know, know about, <laughs> this. You know about this. I don't think we're, she's going to take a cut for that. <laughs> <laughs> so, where do you guys see the evolution of window cleaning going? Do you see traditional window cleaning sticking around for another 50 years, or do you think it's going to, traditional is going to be a thing of the past, kind of like Mason's, I mean... Um, it'll be around forever. You think so? Yeah. As long as I have anything to do with it, it'll be around forever. Oh, 50 uh-huh. years. 50 years from now. About. Yeah, I'm a purist, and the, you know what, all they've got, the only thing that's really going to stop us is Star Trek. No, the only thing that's going to stop is if they actually bring the water-fed poles down to where the average homeowner can buy those things. Well, they, they, you know what I mean? They can already if they figure out a few things. It's really not that difficult, and home filtration systems are easy to design and build. The guy's doing a $2,400, even paying for $2,400 a rip for his windows is going to eventually get smart and say, oh, I can do this on my own. Yeah, but, but we've actually had that customer that they're like, the last guy used a water-fed pole on my house, and I do not want that done. Which was another oh. house that we threw a heavy, heavy bid on, hoping we didn't get it. Oh, I, I don't want to do a price, and he's like, right. go ahead and do and we're it. Like, but really? we we guaranteed him that we would do a traditional. Then well, we did it in five five hours with three of us. I, I, think he, I think he regretted that. Well, no, he calls back the next he year. Did. He's like, hey. You know? He did. I'm just saying that's it's got to be wild. I'm, I'm sure we probably did that thing faster than the water fed bowl guy. Well, I think what threw him off is the second time I come back is most people. I don't know if you guys have a cost of living increase in your cells. I'd, I'd, mm-hmm. I'd try to add about 5% a year. And um, <laughs> I added 5% to him. <laughs> and he's like, wait, what? Your price went up? And I'm like, well, everything in the world's gone up. So yeah, it's called cost of living increase. You know, you got to have that. <laughs> Well, you know, it's it's interesting when you look at the dynamic of the, you know, with the sales tax, the cost of living increases and how we have to manipulate our prices. You know, there are sometimes, you know, this is why I try to teach her. You have to use your judgment per client. You have to be able to manipulate. You have to be able to say, you know what, right now the economy across the board is going to be devastating for everybody, including myself. So... Maybe if I back off over here, let's see what happens over there. And you have to ride it out. And we, at the end of that, we have clients that end up, I don't know, we went to a house. We're facing, okay, do we raise the price 7 8% this year because of everything that's going on? Ah, let's leave it alone. So, you know what, they turn around and say, let's add a fall service. Yeah. You know, well, oh, I raised I raised last fall and I raised this spring. I yeah. had to. I mean, there a lot of folks. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I rolled out yesterday and gas was three eighty nine. I mean, I, I know that's devastating here. I know it's not the most expensive gas in the world, but well, what's funny is speaking about gas. I used to drive a Dodge or a GMC Dually. 
you know, diesel and that, you know, if I oh, still drove, if I drove that right now, but to not, to not roll that price on to my customers, the cost of driving that, Think. I went out and got what I call a little clown van that gets 30 miles a gallon. Yeah. And, uh, you know, I'm able to hold back some of my increases on my customers. It cost me $30,000 to buy a van, but. His, you know. I mean, basically his payments taken care of with the increased gas prices yeah. but he's saving yeah. on his it truck just, it was a no brainer right I mean, that's, yeah. it was ingenious but I still want to see how many people I get in like a clown van I want to see how many people I get squished <laughs> he's in really to do that. You, now think about that homeowner though when, when we talk about all these things like manipulating the price uh, you know the market let's say they go buy the equipment even if they buy it at you know the, the top of the line the, what we use the you know the, the, the most advanced window cleaner pole possible three grand okay do you know how long it's going to take the actual window cleaner to get through the learning curve to learn how to use this properly and they're actually applying to that learning it's, curve almost every like day the homeowners with the power washers mm -hmm. they probably don't know what they're doing but man it was a lot cheaper than that guy and i'm saving all you know yeah but then the other side of that coin is is and i think we see this a lot in I'm our saying, job i'm saying telling the suppliers just don't lower your prices keep them up high yeah well <laughs> but you know what if this homeowner does buy that and they start doing that you know 41 years i've got in the field and I, to be honest right now i mean this is important it's a window cleaning radio here the physical being, the physical being right here on my shoulder. I have, my wife right now is currently working on this area to maintain so I can stay in the field. Wife's supposed my, to do that? Yeah. Uh, What's going on? My wife's like, yeah. get back to work. Oh, I get the, I get, I get the special <laughs> treatment. But you know what? She understands. She married a window cleaner. She knew my dad. We grew up together, so she knew. But she understands, hey, I got to keep this. I got to keep his body in tune, help him keep it in tune so that he can keep working 41 years in the field of climbing ladders working with the poles does a lot of damage but i'm bro in, my wife my wife went from married to a guy that was working 70 hours a week gone at night you know she didn't have to deal with me to now i'm working as a window cleaner working you know a third the time making yeah. triple the money and she gets sick of me being around. <laughs> well, she gets sick of me. My wife has a job, but when yeah. she comes home and, and she knows that, you know what, today he, I knew he was, I talked to her about all of this. You know, hey, today I'm going, and this is what we've got. We've got a job coming up. She knows the jobs and she knows that when I'm done, I need to get, we've got a massage table, hypervolt, you name it, we've got it. We have got... <sighs> I've got Everything. to get one of those. They are very. Dude, Grace what got did it. you just get? What well, did you just no, get, Mister? Well, no. Mister? Come on. What well, the tan bed? Yeah, the tan bed. He got the tan oh, bed. Oh boy. He's got to have tan bed. But I'm talking about. He the said wife Donald thing. Trump looks good orange. Yeah. I'm like, hey, it works. But he knows my wife. So if I come home and I have aches and pains yeah. all over yeah. my shoulders, is hurting. Maybe I. I stepped off the ladder wrong and sprained my ankle. I don't know. She always has to one up me. She's like, you know, I kind of bent over to pet the dog today, and my, I hurt my back right here. And I'm like, okay, well, I I, I sliced my hand with a razor. Well, you know, I got a paper cut right here. <laughs> so it's like she always one ups me. So I I didn't know they made wives like that. That actually. Oh, I, I mean, I've been yeah, married to mine for 35 years. Maybe I better stop talking. I, I am both. I'm just going to be right here straight looking at you. I, I'm not getting into that conversation. Both, but well, she knows I'm both lucky, but I am also totally honest. And I, my wife just, it, it, she, you do you, boo-boo, is what she says. I am who I am. She accepts me exactly how I am, and even though I frustrate the living daylights out of her I'm, I'm sure i give you crap about that tanning bed but i mean with all your what what's happened to you in life and all the metal in you it's going to be more beneficial than anything huh. you've ever done when the hot tub yeah. the tan bed um, yeah. he's gracie he's got a hot tub that's what i want is the hot tub there you go that's, come on over you know well no no i want that right outside my bedroom door <laughs> right out the massage little table. little yeah, shower can... vestibule bypass to get everything i've know. always heard of spoiled husbands but i've never met one person i've, I've, I've just been my first one <laughs> it's a give a take but you know what that bottom line is is that we do a dangerous job very physical we wrote the they rotator cuffs in cleveland obviously i think maybe i don't know but the latter work you've you know the just the 
how many times have you done a set of ladder work all week and come that weekend, you're laying there, it's about 3 o'clock in the morning, and your legs start cramping up to the point where you scream, and your wife looks at you like, what? <laughs> and I can't straighten my legs out. I got into a stretching routine about a year ago because, uh, I mean, it would, I was getting, I was having all kinds of issues. I'd cough wrong and pull out my back and do all that. So as soon as I started stretching, I never had muscle issues. Yeah, Grace, you should talk about that. Yeah. Um, so obviously with ballet, I yeah. a lot of stretching, but um, the I actually talked about that in the most recent article for American Window Cleaner. There we go. So, Boom. Is that yeah. printed yet? Uh, no, it's not. I don't remember what issue it is, but it's coming out. It's coming out. <laughs> I'm Eventually. teaching her well. Forget that. <laughs> I, got, I mean, that I, watch. I, watch, I watch a lot of wrestling. And, um, well, I mean, used like to. I used to, but I like the history of like the old school wrestling and stuff like that. And DDP has DDP yoga, Diamond Dallas Page. Oh. And he's like saved careers and saved people's lives as far as their uh, uh, quality of life. Like Jake the Snake Roberts, Mick Foley, all well, that. Yeah. Guys. Just getting them into this yoga stuff. You get what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, you know what? And that's something, I, she teaches ballet. We, she took it. From middle school, I mean, her whole no, life. From eighth grade. Eighth from, grade. No, eight years old. Eight years not old. Eight I don't even know. So, do you, do you do the routine of stretching out before you go clean windows? No. 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 You don't no. do that. I no. probably should, but yeah. I don't. I do. You do? Depending on the work. It, 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 I have and to you target. You have a masseuse. It's not fair. And I it's have a. It's not fair. I'm have... going to keep going back to that. I'm sorry. That's just blowing my mind. He's going to show his wife this episode. No. Look what other guys' husbands do. Look at my hands. Wife's do. They're yeah. soft. All right. And that's the district area. No, that's the L'Oreal hand hot the Con wax. Conair? Con I don't Con know. Air. Isn't that L'Oreal? No. I don't know. That's the, that's the Con Air. My wife's in license. Hot hand waxer. You know the hot hand yeah, wax thing. Yeah, so I get Put that done. Especially on birthday, she does it to my feet. Oh, that that's is so amazing. nice. You know what yeah. I mean? But for our hands, they, yeah. it's so brutal. And the splits this time of year. The well, wind. it also takes the Grace, I'm going to let them have their conversation the over here. So, <laughs> yeah. what, what was he talking about? B b ballet? And what he was talking about a, You had a whole conversation going on. We went with, down there. You, yeah. you guys keep going on over there. <laughs> so what's going on? Why are my hands so soft? <laughs> yeah. You're soaking in what it. Was that, what was that commercial? Madge. Yeah, Palm yeah, Olive. Olive. Yeah. Madge, you're soaking in it. Leave them in. No, it's soap. It's got food coloring and toxins. It's absorbing. I feel sick. No, leave it in. It's softening your hands. Wow. So Grace. Kind of my mind. Yeah. <laughs> ballet Back to stretch. Ballet. <laughs> <laughs> what do you guys want to know about ballet? How does that how does that involve window cleaning? I've I'm, I've seen stuff on YouTube where like ballet girls does like flips around and cleans a window over here and up here i think she, that's just here. kind of her hobby and creativity you know yeah it does oh. give an advantage to window cleaning because uh i can stretch to if there's you know there's always that one window that you have to like reach around all goofy to get so it gives me an advantage so with you that. stretch the five five core <laughs> <laughs> well the ballet the the the, the conditioning in, uh, that she goes through it, it conditions the core and works its way out so yeah i've, I've really had good a balance six pack since i was like four so yeah. i got a keg ballet has kept that <laughs> up the thankfully frank rave on a ladder <laughs> you know that's ballet stretch to be able to balance Dude, that dude's what mid-60s yeah mm -hmm. yeah he's still getting it man going strong i want to go that's one of the places i want to go and visit i'm still trying to find so out nice. his three-point contact on the ladder because i always <laughs> see him like He's got three toes on the ladder. You don't want to see me on a ladder. <laughs> yeah. I I don't know if, well, I, I'm pretty sure Frank Rave has and would match the level of insanity, intensity, and just stupidity. That How cool yeah. would that trip be, though? That would be the coolest. That would be even, if it's, even if it was like two days. Yeah. Just go no, out there. No, you can't just go there. I for would two only days. do I wouldn't you do it. Do I would, for well, I'm, if I'm going to Europe, I'm going to, like, I'm going to do. I, I, I'm going to go meet a guy for two days, but if I'm going to Europe, I'm going to take my wife to Venice. You get yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. And that's where you take 10, 15 yeah. days. I'm like, wife, we're going to Europe. Yeah. And she'll be like... If I'm, going to, if I'm going to get some video, I'm just going to, you know... I yeah. thought Venice <laughs> my, was in Florida. Isn't Venice in Florida? <laughs> <laughs> Venice Beach. My <laughs> wife would say, I already know what you're doing. We could go... I don't care where... We could go to the... You, anywhere on this planet. And she would look at me, and she'd probably look at Grace and say, all right, I know what you guys are doing. I'm going to the beach or wherever, and you guys go stare at dirty windows. <laughs> if you if you took your wife around Frank Rabe, you're gonna lose her. 
Period. No. Ah, oh, that dude's a. You can tell he's a player. He's, hot. he's she, a player. You have to meet my wife. Yeah. <laughs> you have to meet her. Uh, uh, my mom is sassy. Yeah, she's <laughs> a sassy one. Did it handle me? Uh, it, yeah. No, she. Oh, he, yeah. He would have to work very hard. Oh, he'd just get that little accent going. He'd get it. <laughs> She'd start talking to her in Dutch. Yeah. yeah. I think, you know what, well, of all of them. That, I think it would be uh, Sven Klocker because yeah. he's actually one of those guys that he's dapper. Yeah. In a way, he's smooth, but. You I know, don't I know. sell more outlaw window cleaner t shirts over in Europe than I do here right now. It, you know what? That's a good thing. That's not even the Frank Graves shirt. It's just that they love the Western stuff. Yeah. You know? Well, that's a good thing. You know, that's, that's the when old. When I say where, I, I mean us as a, the core. You know what I mean? Th this is where it came from. This is where window cleaning came from. Yeah. So we that's you know, all of our shirts that wouldn't we make here. Cool get them over there. there. there Dude, Hanging what, out. Wouldn't it be cool to go to like UK and Denmark and I'd like to go there because I just think they're far more advanced. I guess we could take safety. the wives and I let mean, them do they their have thing. a lot more safety stuff in, <laughs> in the US. Can you well, imagine traveling to Europe just to go watch window cleaners? I would do that. I would. Yeah. I, well, I, let me well, ask you this, Grace. When you first came in the window cleaning, how many times did you go out just on your personal time, whether it was to a restaurant or whatever, and you start eyeballing the windows? Um. So it was a little bit at first, and now it's every awesome. time we go out. Um, so how, she's a window cleaner. Yeah, it actually yeah. happened every on time. Friday. My boyfriend and I went out to dinner. You had we to drive to up out of the way just to go see what work he did? No. Because <laughs> no, I, love, I love looking at it he got on. He, he, we were on the highway, and he missed where he was supposed to go or whatever, so we were just like, oh, well, it's an adventure, you know? And I was like, oh, we're actually not too far from the house I cleaned the windows at today. We could just, like, hop, skip, and jump, and I could show you it. Yeah. And I was like, but actually, I think I'm too hungry, so let's just go to the restaurant. But we walked in, and I was immediately was like, Hunter, look at their windows. They're so nasty. Yeah, it's everywhere. Well, yeah. it's funny. You look at their windows at a restaurant, and you start thinking, well, if their windows if, look like that, what, what does the kitchen look yeah. like? Yeah, and that's it. You know, the, yeah. uh, so we, uh, it goes on from there. Back when we used to do commercial, that whole strip we used to do, and it was after we got done doing it, man, I'd, I'd drive back out there at night just to look at it at night. Watch the shine. Oh, it's it's amazing. Yeah. You know what? That's, we also, one of our first jobs, the Franklin Castle. Mm -hmm. And that, it's one of those jobs that when we do it, I, I like, we go by that area and I'll be lying around just to see how it looks after we've done it. I've done it a lot of times before. It's supposed to, it's one of the most haunted, I think one of the most haunted in the greater Cleveland area. Yeah. yeah. Haunted Castle. But... I don't know if it but is. I have to ask you, what does your boyfriend do? Is he in the field? Uh, no, he uh, he builds engines at Ford Motor Company. Okay, so when you're talking to him you about 30 that. windows, he's probably like, I haven't a clue of what you're talking about. And that's uh, what <laughs> no, I think he... these forums are about, is because we could all relate to what each yeah. other's gone through. But when you're with your boyfriend, wife, or whatever, you talk to fit and you talk in industry terms, and they look at you like you're an alien. I mean, they just... They can't relate. He gets My wife doesn't now. look. No, he, he gets it now. He'll be like, oh, those are dirty. And I think sometimes he'll be a little extra sassy just like to joke with me and be like, Grace, look at those dirty things. <laughs> you know what? But I tried to take him with me years ago oh, before Oh, gosh, her. how long ago was that? Wow. That was... Oh, yeah. Where, was I in high school still? Yeah, he just the first year out of high school. Wow, how long have you been with this guy? Uh, nine years. Wow. Yeah. When's, the, when's the wedding? I don't know. I don't you gotta know. ask him that question. Uh, yeah, she meant me. Uh, Not until uh, he grows up. And... <laughs> he's working at Ford. No, that's like, like I said. When he grows up. He... No, he's going to school. He doesn't want to be there forever. He's growing up. Yeah. You realize that. Hey, I didn't. I didn't like. I, I didn't officially grow up to like thirty-seven. I'm still growing <laughs> up a little bit. You know what I mean? It takes a while. You gotta get old, out of those old bad habits. <laughs> no, he's a. He's a good guy. He's just got to find, he, for himself, really. Yeah. It has nothing to do with me, really. He's got to find who he is and wants to be. And I think she is still kind of, she's a little more sure, but... You know, they well, kind of have to figure the advice by Outlaw and together. <laughs> well, I'm only 24 and he just turned 26, so yeah, I'll be 25 this 24 summer. 24 minus nine, so you started seeing this guy when you was what 13? I was 15. 15? Wow, yeah, okay. high school sweetheart. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, and I have high expectations because they need to have enough property for the unit on the back for her mom and I when we come to visit, jacuzzi next to it. So 
you know, it's. I have high expectations. Ron, Ron built a full condo in his backyard for his in laws. That's like see, a, the whole thing. You understand? That's my office. This is an old school thing. The, yeah. the young folk don't understand this, but this is the way it's supposed to be. I, if I've got to travel from my house over to your house to visit, I want to go sit in the jacuzzi. But if you're not going to come over to my house so I can do it at my house, have one there. Man, every time I sit in this jacuzzi, he's always, you know, this is just bad. That's what's, not. <laughs> what's funny is when my kids come to my house, they don't. They just walk in, go straight to the bathroom, and I'm like, you can't poop at your house? Well, why do you have to come to my house? To just want to feel at home again. <laughs> they don't say hi or nothing. They just go straight to the bathroom. Oh, my like, goodness. holy cow. <laughs> now we're, and see, now we're telling poop stuff. See? Yeah. Uh -huh. Window cleaners. <laughs> we're hitting hey, all the topics Everybody today. poops. Everybody does. Huh? Oh, Tough. no. <laughs> hey, speaking of that, you know, in window cleaners, we've experienced this issue over the COVID year and and beyond, uh, you know, gas station bathrooms, a lot of them still closed. We are out and about, and uh, you know, especially females. Oh, yeah. gosh, yeah. It is so hard for us to go out and find a place to go to the bathroom. Imagine being a UPS driver, and FedEx driver. the only oh. regular guy in the morning, like, goes in the morning and doesn't have to worry about it until the next day? <laughs> well, I mean. <laughs> I mean. But I, I think I've seen the show on UPS drivers. They was carrying a can in the truck with them. Yeah. Because they, they just couldn't find nowhere else well, to Well, I go. wanted to get a porta potty on a trailer yeah. and oh. actually have our own, you know, little... Rack with deodorants, yeah. colognes, perfumes, the whole nine, magazine that we, rack. That way we can eat burritos out on the route. Change the seat, <laughs> make a nice soft seat. You know, it's our own customized porta potty well, on a since trailer. We went down that route. Let's be done with that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's Ideas talk about for... rolling with the window cleaner. Let's talk about uh, what you guys see in the future with that. Uh, if you if you don't know what rolling with the window cleaner is, it's a page, right? It's, on Facebook. Yeah, it's a Facebook so, page. So go artistic find rolling page. With, rolling with the window cleaner, and what, what what do you feel is the future of this? Uh, I'd say a lot more art. Uh, the stickers here. Grace does a lot of graphic art, anything window cleaner related, uh, pictures, stickers, stuff like that, and. What we try to do is just get, get a little bit more of the passion and creativity and in, inject that culture that we have already with some fun stuff, just creative things. You know, these are uh, a lot of these pictures that we deal with are old press photos that we collect, old pictures from history, you know, back, we get some back to the 20s. Uh, I've got things going way, way back. A collection of memorabilia. You can go to that site and see art, memorabilia, history. We make belts and holsters for window cleaners. You know, for ourselves mostly. But so, uh, if if somebody wanted one of your belts or holsters, where would they go to find those? Or do they just contact you? Nowhere right now. We're we're kind of just creating right now. Prototypes. But yeah, stuff like that. Designs and prototypes. Trying to make it better. We. Uh, kind of maybe in the future we're working towards a phase. Maybe something will get manufactured, be on the shelf somewhere. I don't know yet. It's uh, we're still we we just want to make sure that w if we do put an end product out there for other folks, we've tested it for uh, you know we test for a minimum of a year. A lot of the things that we make, few years. We just want to make sure we go that extra. If if it's something that could change the industry, I think I think everybody's <clears throat> seeing what happened in was it 2019. 2018, 2019, and watching probably the best product that could hit the market get just the worst, the worst introduction to us. I mean, that was probably the biggest flop, and it was probably, and now, I mean, now it's a great product, but back then, just because of the person that was in charge of it, it was That horrible. window was really clean. That was a bird. Oh. Listen, I didn't mean to have you all go need off. A, it's on radio. You can't say off. For the bird. Poor little boy. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, bird. <laughs> so yeah, you were saying I I don't even know the bird the, died. No, the, I'm, 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 <laughs> you were talking about it's done now. I don't even know what to do anymore. Products releasing oh. products. So I mean, yeah, I mean, you want to make sure that you have you got all your ducks in a row. When you yeah. yeah, and again, like everything else with me, it's not about money. It's about changing the industry for the better. It's it's. What we focus on is replacing the straps on Boab's belts, um, any kind of a holster. These come in leather or canvas, a nylon webbing, things like that. Those are the materials. They get wet, they absorb, they get dirty, they start to rot, they smell, they, they disintegrate. And we try to make a, something better with a material that doesn't absorb, that's antimicrobial, it can wash it off easily. 
uh, easier to use, just you know, something to, that lasts longer. It could last your entire career as a window cleaner. So we're not throwing things away. We're not constantly replacing things that really don't need to be replaced. So I know, I know, I'm oh, sorry, Ron, go ahead. Oh, what I was going to ask is, you know, if you grow, you, you, this is your baby that you created that you, you've you tested for a year or two years. and More than I think, 10. I, I think what Tim was alluding to is, um, you know, a certain product that someone put a lot of effort into, but then when it went into production, it went to China. Yeah, well, that's and, and uh, I mean, how would you feel about your baby that you you created being outsourced to China, and then the the quality of it just be, be it's, trash? It's freedom. If somebody wants to steal any design that I've got, you know what? Just you know, I can't stop anybody no, from it, doing anything. It's well, more, I, more, I don't think they stole his design. No, 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 I think no, no. when but, he went for yeah. for what, mass production, they just outsource it to China. But even beyond that is it, it doesn't matter who it is or who you're partnered up with. If you make something and you put it out there, if I put all the money into the patent, it really doesn't matter. Once it's out there, anybody can make a knockoff yeah. right away, yeah. cut the price in half, whatever they want to do. They can cut that price below their actual value, just put me out of business and they could have supporting products. You know, I'm a small fish, but if it's kind of win-win for me because I don't really care about the money. I yeah. really don't. It's The design is solid. It is designed for window cleaners by a window cleaner. And if that material and that design ever creep out in any way and get full force into our industry, it's better for all window cleaners. And for me, if I can leave something behind on this plan, I can't take any money with me. You know, I could be Elon Musk rich, but I, do I really want to be? You know I, what? Didn't. I don't know. I won't really know, but... <laughs> I'm not going to know that until it happens, but in the meantime, if it hasn't happened yet, I still got a goal in mind right now is we've got to change our industry. You know, there are so many things that, you know, how many guys, uh, which boab do you use? This boab, that boab, that, well, that, my rubber dings and this does that. To, you know, we've got to make things better. It's not one size fits all. Right. You know, she needs better equipment, better tools designed for her. I'm uh, the brass at array, classic. What do you like? Uh, well, most recently I started using the, um, it's the Mormon liquidator channel with the accelerator handle, I believe. Um, so oh. it swivels um, and then it also degrees at different angles. So And see, that's I the like difference between that generations. Our generation is more like, this is what I grew up with and I'm not touching anything else because I know what it's going, I, I know the end product. Yeah. So you put a new product in our hand and we're like, I'm not for sure how this is going to turn out. I was and a like lot of times we first. just don't have time to yeah. try a new product. Yeah, at first, um, like, so I started with all Ettore Brass and then... Um, tried a little longer. Yeah, I didn't really want to try anything else, but he was like, no, just try it, just try it. Try it. See if you like it better. I'm like, okay. that guy that's not the actual dinosaur that stifles creativity and growth. Yeah, so then he was just yeah, like, so try stifled. this, try this, try that. So then I did, and then I was like, oh, wait, this actually works really well for me. It gives wow. me an advantage with because being able to angle that squeegee a little bit if I need yeah. because I'm short. We all use the same products. Like everybody that's worked under him pretty much uses all the same products. Well, yeah. it, it's funny because in some of the groups, I always hear people say, if you don't have this product, you're not a window cleaner. And I'm like, what? I, I've had that array brass and a five-gallon bucket for 32 years, and I've made quite a bit of money with it. Yeah. But it's like, you know, you got to have the innovations of people trying to make new products, but then you have the old stubborn guys like us that almost don't want to try a new product but you know you, you try it but you kind of look at it you try to leave that testing for the younger generation mm -hmm. because it seems like they have more time oh i test everything that's I, I i test everything and i mean i test i pull hose reels off a truck a hundred times as if i was the employee you know boom, 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 breaking that i'm trying to break these things tuck our hose reel a hundred mm -hmm. times off the truck and i still use it it's on my truck right now right and it's beat up, and you can look at it and say, "Whoa!" But yeah, you know, we, that's I. I don't mind testing. I'm now testing a Mormon or a Wagtail product, no problem. Am I really going to use those as applied as they are designed? No, I don't use poles and do all the wiggity flapping. 
and right. non-detail. That's, you do? That's the best way to say it, wiggity flapping. I like that. You do use one wagtail product on a very regular basis. I do. Basis. The, well, that's water-fed. I, I, yeah, I should it's clarify that. Yeah, the whitetail still. wave, I do like for water-fed, but I also need to actually change the design a little bit. <laughs> the Australians are going to be pissed, but... We have to talk to Willie. Yeah. <laughs> so uh, with Rolling with the Window Cleaner, you guys got any more meetups scheduled? or? I think we are looking at Michigan as the next potential. We've got to get let everybody get past that spring rush, and yeah. then we'll find a lull, work together with some folks. I think we want to try to go up outside of Detroit because there is a high concentration of window cleaners up there. Yep. They really kind of starving for you know unity and some question and answer i mean there's a lot of them we talk to on facebook and get messages from so hands on with them you were talking i think about a potential jamboree uh, maybe i think so maybe maybe but what's maybe. interesting we're is he's talking Something about like that. that itch again as I, i'm sitting here central ohio in my buckeye shirt so mm -hmm. i mean my yeah. truck cannot go into michigan for whatever reason <laughs> I, I i get to the state line and my truck just turns oh, around by itself so. that's right <laughs> it's the our pro team's yeah. buckeyes i'm looking at the yeah. shirts <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, like, yeah. yeah you guys know. guys cleveland browns we don't have that we got the we got the ohio state buckeyes you well, know i I'm not a Browns fan. I'm not really. Uh, I don't. We're not really sports people. We're not sports. Yeah. I'm a. I'm a window cleaner. So you I'm got a three purist. major pro teams up there, and you're on sports team. So yeah. No. No. We, but you know what? So when everybody up there is like, oh, I don't know, who's that? Anton Baker. What's his name? Who's the Baker? Antoine. Oh, Baker. Baker oh, Mayfield. Mayfield. Baker okay. Mayfield. There's, was there an Antoine I guy too? No, Antoine. Um, what's I don't his know, name? but he's that jerk that I don't like, know. Posted the flag in the center. Yeah, of we, don't like Baker, we don't like Baker. We don't like. Oh, I don't even know. But so we're you know folks up there. You guys know all these names. Uh, you know, I'm like the equivalent of that Frank Rave. You know, there's yeah. yeah I got that's you. to me. Those, those are the I, you know. It's like wrestling. You know, you know the names wrestling. Right. I know. Sean Neoff, the European window cleaners, and then we got the American window cleaner. You know, you got your, I, those are, I, yeah, I don't know. Other than that, I don't really know who plays for any of our sporting teams. I, is, I, I did hear LeBron James may be back if he does. Uh, who? Uh, no. Who? Oh, yeah. <laughs> no. It's tough for us because we actually live outside of Cleveland. We have to deal with that impact firsthand. I mean, and it, it's, it's not, I mean, I'm just... So what you're telling me is, he, even with the last episode, you was talking about the importance of having downtime away from the industry. But it sounds to me like listening to you, you're just nonstop 24 hours a day. Well, that's me. Yeah, yeah. I, I say the importance for all you out there. Take your downtime, unless you are me or like me. But yeah, no, I, uh, how would you say it? The obsession, uh, I don't know if who would it be you know a Sherlock Holmes uh, you know Archimedes you know when you're looking at things and from a different perspective you see things that other people aren't seeing I don't know I just window cleaning is like that for me it's so so many layers and I can't I get, get enough that. I used to be like that but it's like then you start having grandkids and you're like wait life you know, you got to start going here and there and, you know, putting the window cleaning on the back burner for even a day or a week just to enjoy life. I won't have to. Grace will be the one putting squeegees in their hands before me. <laughs> She'll well, be the we're, obsession. We're about to wind down. We could probably do four or five episodes just sitting here. Probably. Talking. <laughs> so um, anything you want to get in as far as, like, talk about, I don't know. Anything um, that you we missed that you want to talk about while we're before we start to wind I mean, down the show? Uh, you really don't want to get started again on <laughs> another topic because we'll never wind down the show. That uh, Grace, oh, I don't think we ever finished the ballet stuff. <laughs> Do we? Yeah, I don't know if we're finishing <laughs> anything. We jump to topics. Yeah. That's like a normal yeah. conversation. That's the problem. For us. We I have mean, like. We, Five I think different. most window cleaners has ADD. Yeah, I think. yeah they're going to understand. My, yeah. my roommates at my old apartment were both going to grad school for psychology, and I think on, like, a monthly basis, my one roommate would be like, Grace, are you ADHD? And I was like, no. I don't think so. I've never been diagnosed, but I work with Craig, and I think my brain just has adapted <laughs> to keep up with his brain. You could just go on the one topic, on yeah. the another, on that. And then circle back around. Right. Well, talk yeah. about our day. You, earlier, you were talking about our day. Oh, that, yeah, we just finished day? talking about <laughs> but that. I shotgun so during the course of our day, even if we're in the field for a small amount or a large amount, I shotgun how many things? A thousand things at her all day long. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Get this, do that, do that, do that, do that. And she's oh, getting it 
done at the end of the day, I go over the list. Did you get it all done? I'm forgetting something, aren't I? And then three hours later, it's like, ah, boom, send her a message on Facebook, this. Eh, tomorrow. Well, I think most of my kids that's been in the truck with me on a regular route, they look at me, and I think throughout the years, I think they probably all have seeked at one time psychological help. Because I mean, after <laughs> after traveling with me all day yeah. long, it's like the uh, the the conversations is just all over the place. Oh, you don't even want to. My my dad, I, you know how this is. I'm the I'm I'm in her seat in the truck. My dad's driving, and we pull up to a light, and all the kids are getting out of school, high school, and I duck down. It's an S10, oh. and I duck down and I crush myself down. My dad looks over. What are you even doing? And I, in my head, I'm thinking, you don't even know you, how many times have I done this and you haven't figured it out yet? So I got the window down and we pull up, we're stopped at light. Hey, baby. <laughs> and these, you know, pack of girls coming out of high school look over, ew, you perverted old man. <laughs> and, you know, that's, I don't know how I didn't drive my dad insane. I don't know how he handled me, but, you know. Uh, I won't swear on here, but he had a name for me. My wife uses it. My best friend uses you it. You can swear. You can say yeah. it. <laughs> it's uh, okay. Grace could use it, too. <laughs> you asshole. Yeah, that, that's my actual See, name. It, it, it sounds more innocent coming for her. <laughs> yeah. 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 Yeah, they say it in a... In a uh, yeah, it's a more... It, I don't know. Yeah, they've got a way to say it. They, but they've endured so much more... For a long time. You got anything to say before we wrap it up? No, I'll just comment on his dad. My dad would always brag about people. Um, he said, my son has a PhD. And I'm like, what are you talking about? I'm not a doctor. <laughs> he goes, no, but you know how to do a post hole. You're a post hole digger. <laughs> I'm like, that's not the same as a PhD. <laughs> post hole digger. <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. This has been episode five. Guys, I can't thank you enough for taking the drive and taking your time on a Sunday to come down here and record these with us. That's fun. Uh, make sure you're checking out Rolling with the Window Cleaner on uh, Facebook. Do you have a YouTube ship page? I yes. don't know. It Ro is. Oh, yeah. We have Rolling with the Window Cleaner yeah. on, on YouTube, too? Yes. How about a TikTok? Do we have a TikTok? I don't know. Uh, I just made a TikTok. I haven't posted any videos. Is it yet. at w Rolling with the Window Cleaner? or? Yes, it's Rolling with the Window Cleaner. All right. so. Original. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Easier to... I bet you they all have the same passwords, too. <laughs> Actually, I don't know if they do. I hope they don't. That would be bad. <laughs> I don't know any of them. Oh, shoot. Got a little close to that mic. And if you're going to end up putting in a... Um, if you want to get into those contests with WCR and all that goodness, make sure you, that you contact uh, Greg. Or Craig uh, through Messenger or something like that, and have them put their order in for you. They make a little ching chang, and you might have a chance for the win. What they give away so much stuff anyway, right? So many things, yeah, so like much five, stuff. six thousand dollar poles and oh, silencers yeah. and all that stuff, man. Ten percent off systems. Yeah. yeah. So. I keep signing up and I'll win. I'll win. <laughs> I, I do my $50 orders once a week. <laughs> That's it. I'm going to get that free shipping and I'm going to get a chance later. All right, guys. We appreciate you being here. Thank and you. we will talk to you next week for episode six. See ya. See ya. See ya.